today we're going to take a look at something interesting that's been taking place out here in my neck of the woods. Um, we're going to take a look at the phenomenon of a dragonfly swarm. And dragonflies don't swarm like they like like bees in the sense they are a communal um, insect. Uh, dragonflies are an apex predator even as nymphs in, in the water they'll, they'll swim around and they'll just kill other animals inside other insects in the water they doesn't kill little fish and things like that but as adults um, they can live for up to six seven months okay and they are attracted to areas that produce food for um, foraging insects like honeybees so when palm trees are in full um, flow out here which they are right now they oftentimes will kind of encircle the palm tree and not just one but a bunch of them so it's almost like a tornado of um, of these dragonflies flying around. Dragonflies are big, real fascinating thing that takes place. Um, so that's exactly what they're doing. They're waiting for um, bees and whatever else to show up so they can pick them off. So whenever your queen goes out to get mated, sometimes you know if she doesn't make it back because another animal picks her off, and sometimes that animal is another insect like. A robber fly or a dragonfly so what we're gonna do is take a look at it I mean it's it's just kind of cool to see nature in action you know and I mean these things they they cross they bisect they intersect where honeybees are and what they do and it's just something else to be aware of as a beekeeper so let's take a look at it Those are flowers, uh, oh, nice. and bees go out there and get next. So the dragonflies hang out like killer whales and pick them off, or whatever, uh, where their food is.